First, we will learn how to make a whistling composition. In all pyrotechnic manuals it is written that the whistling mixture must be pressed, but we will do without the press. All thoroughly grind and mix. The powder particles should be less than 0, 3 millimeters, and preferably less than 0, 2 millimeters. I use nitrolac as a binder, but you can use dextin, shellac and so on. Mix and dry. We break the plates and sow the powder, leaving granules not one, five to two millimeters. For better sound, I use long plastic tubes, igniting the charge from below. Potassium chlorate is too dangerous a thing, especially if you use a large closed charge. I thought that two combustible binder was to blame, and replaced nitrolac with dextrin. I replaced potassium chlorate with perchlorate and the effect has become much better. I used a long plastic tube for good resonance, igniting from below 0,5-1G of the mixture. Very good effect. I also tried using this mixture as gunpowder, but in a confined space it breaks the tube. I tried to replace sodium salicylate with aspirin, it burns no worse in a bunch, but it doesn't make a sound. In the next video we will look at rockets with pressed mixtures without press.